Did you know that during a photo manipulation process, you can remove almost anything or anyone in Adobe Photoshop? There are countless tools that we can use to make that possible. So buckle up and let's begin. Hey, welcome back to Design Africa, the place to be, the channel where we make learning graphic design fun with a little bit of heart from Africa. I'm Foldy Ongwa. In this video, you learn how to use the clone step tool beside some other tools in Adobe Photoshop. We selected this image to challenge your skills. At the end of this video, you'll know how to remove almost anything concerning objects or people from an image in Adobe Photoshop. So when you're ready, let's begin. In this tutorial, you will learn how to remove the van and uh, the mill from this, this image. You will learn how to make like a composition where you will use uh, tools such as the, the stamp, the clone stamp tool to remove this selection and clone everything so we can have the same consistent part of the ground here. We will also use the same technique in order to remove the upper side so we can have like the consistency of the, the sea we can see in the background and the, the sky. So to do that, we'll start by duplicating this layer and come here. You can rename it or it just up to you. And you just have to hide this layer. So once you do that, in order to be working on the on the other side of the the composition you will have to start by creating a new layer once you've done that this new layer the cloning that we'll be doing on from this image will actually be going on top so it will be like non-destructive so the image will be preserved the image will be preserved and we'll be able to have all the changes on the upper layers that we'll have to create. So once that done, you can come and select the paint tool. I had already selected it, but you can also select some other selection tools like the lasso or anything you want or you feel comfortable with. And then you just come and make your selection. Once you come and make your, your selection, you can just come to this side. You make sure that you take like only the parts you need and then you drag to the other side once you are dragged to the other side you just have to make sure that you don't go beyond this line so you won't affect the horizon of the the selection you would like to to make so once you do that you just come and you just come once you do that you just come and make everything and make a selection here take everything so you know that you will have like enough depth so we can select once we've done selecting our area of uh, work you will just have to like kind of save this 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 area so in order to have it like continuously so to do that you have to come to paths and then you double click once you double click you will have this area where it will say safe path you just have to rename it let's call it ground and then let's hit ok once you've hit ok you know your selection will will consistently be there so you'll have to come back to the paths anytime and then you'll have your you'll retrieve your your selection so what to do when you would like to make a selection we can come here and hit it or we can just press command and click inside. So your selection just appeared. But we'll be trying to work on this area. So we don't want it to, to have like harsh, some kind of harsh edges here and here. Everything we apply the selection. So you just have to come to select. You scroll down to modify and then you come to fader. Once you come to Feather, you can apply it up to one or up to two or three points. But I think one will be uh, a suitable option. So you just hit OK. Once you've hit OK, 
you can uh, start working with your it depends it really depends on what you are actually expecting of your image you can select the healing brush tool you can select the spot healing brush tool or you can select the patch tool or the content aware the content aware and feel but besides that we can also press the shortcut s if you press it it will activate the clone stamp tool here so just hit s and then you once you do that in order to change you'll just have to analyze your image where do you want to treat which part of the image would you like to treat you can come this side because you can see that the textures are different this side is different from this side you can see that there are some bigger rocks here it also plays with the perspective you can see that this side will be will be suitable to use on this side so we can blend everything from this to there so let's select for example this side you have when you have your stamp tool selected you have to press alt or option so you can select this area and then we'll be actually painting it here so once you come here remember that we have already worked on the edges so everything that will that is here will be actually selected to be cloned here you can make your brush bigger or if you want you can like have it like a, a nice and small size so let's hit option copy and come and change the inside area but you see it's not working because we didn't stamp from the the image we are actually on the layer one you just have to come and paste here on the background copy layer you press option and then you go back to the layer one and then you start applying you see that how the changes start coming along it's because we are actually taking the information from this picture and then we transfer it to the new layer so it doesn't really distract the image we are working on but you can see that it's not working properly we can see some dark edges here so you just have to come and select this area sometimes you'll have to to take more time you'll have to take more time in order to to make it perfect so just be patient just be patient and just uh, do the consistency and everything but you 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 were saying that it was it wasn't really working as i was saying because i didn't really apply it uh, i didn't copy or take the information from the 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 main layer so now i did let's go back to our image
At this level, when you feel happy with your composition, it's true that we took some time in order to reach that level. But when you feel happy with your composition, you can start moving to the upper side of the windmill. The process is the same, you just have to keep on using the clone stamp tool to remove the sky. We have successfully completed the treatment of our image. You can see how it used to look like with the van and the windmill on the ground. And uh, at the end, uh, after using our clone stamp tool, you can see how we made it to be like spotless, just the ground with the sky, which has been worked on as uh, the same technique used. Thank you for stopping by and see you in the next video. If you love what you watched today and would like to learn some more, just leave a comment, like the video, share it among your friends and consider subscribing.